guys, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade almond milk today. We've soaked two cups of organic almonds overnight in filtered water and filled it up to about there. This is actually not the water that it soaked in. I already dumped that out and I just rinsed it again one more time with clean water. Almost all almonds are grown in California and most of them have pesticides, like really bad pesticides on them. I watched a Netflix documentary. So that's why I get organic almonds. Oh, also your almonds might expand when you soak them overnight. I guess that's just what they do. They just like puff up with all the water that's been soaked. You might actually end up with three cups in total. That's what happened last time, which is weird. I never noticed that before. One cup of almonds to three cups water. I always make sure it's like exactly three. And now you blend. So it's a two-step filtering system that I do. This first. And then a nut bag. It makes it so much faster. I used to just run to the milk bag and only do the milk bag first, but I realized that's actually a much harder way to do it. So it's actually easier and faster to use two steps. I just use a spoon to get all of the milk through and the pulp will be left at the top. This is the pulp that's left over and I save this for baking treats or like making pancakes with them. So there's no need to waste the almond pulp. So I am taking the almond milk that's been filtered one time through the strainer. I'm putting it back into the blender. And now I'm pouring it through this nut milk bag. I got this one from Amazon from a brand called Ellie's Best. It works really well. And then it's so much easier to just like strain it through this nut milk bag now because like a lot of the pulp is already out. After you filter it through the nut bag, this is what you'll have left. You'll have like almond meal left in there. And it's a little different texture than the one that comes through the strainer. This is the almond milk that's been filtered twice now. And so this is like the final product. So now I'm gonna put it in my little milk jug. Look how smooth and pure this milk is. Oh, almond milk is honestly my favorite. Like it just froths the best in my frother. It just tastes the most neutral. It's good for you. It's literally just almonds and water. I don't add any sweetener or anything. So yeah, this is our milk. So I'm finishing up blending the rest of the almonds now and I have exactly two cups left. So I put two cups of almond milk to soak yesterday and it turned out to be three. How trippy is that? Like it's like, it just expands and now we have <laughs> cups of almonds. I don't know, I'm blown away by that. But anyways, so on my second round, I'm putting in the rest of my two cups um, and then I can just do hashtag math times three, six cups of water. So that fits in this um, blender. Now I can blend that and then I'll be done. Like that's all my almonds and that's gonna make me so much almond milk. And yeah, I'll strain it. So I finished blending and straining the rest of the almonds and this is the almond meal that I have left. I always save that in my fridge and if you use it like within a week, it's good. Any more than a week, it's probably not great. So now we have our almond milk for like the next few days. Honestly, we could probably finish this in like five days. But yeah, this tastes like heaven. It's so good, it's so delicious so yeah homemade almond milk done that's how i make my almond milk i just put it in some yummy matcha latte right now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you're gonna make this almond milk yourself yeah subscribe for more videos i'll see you next time
all of the almonds in at once, which would be like almost three cups. And then um, hashtag LOL math, what are we doing? It's one times three. So that means we put three cups of almonds times, wait, yeah, times three. <laughs> Ratios. Okay, that would mean if you put like three cups of almonds, then you'd have to put nine cups of water, which would be actually on a. <laughs> that has like you know not like the holes that it won't go through. You know like <laughs> on a Vitamix, this goes to eight cups, I believe. That's a max. That's why it's easier to just do it one to three, in my opinion, because then you can get exactly. What about nine cups versus if you do eight, you'll not have as much milk. Are you still recording? No one can do it like you.